What is going on guys? Today we're taking a look at my custom Power Rangers Lost Galaxy Quasar Saber. Okay, so starting things off, we're going to be making the blade itself. So here we are with my piece of metal. This is aluminum or aluminium for us in the UK. And keeping up some reference pictures next to me is always helpful when making this prop. Just to give me a rough idea of the shape and size that I'm going to go for. As this Quasar Sabre is a custom design, it's not going to be exactly like the show, but it's going to be pretty close, while also giving it a little bit of my own style as well. We're just marking up all the different areas. I've got a permanent marker here. There we go. And so, as you can see, you're starting to get a bit more of an idea of how this blade is going to look. Okay, so now we're moving outside and we're clamping it up. And now we're going to start to actually cut up and shape the blade. Cutting off all of the excess metal. This is something that took me quite a while to get done. Um, you know, it took a lot of patience to get my cuts as close and as accurate as possible to save a little bit of the cleanup later but overall I think the end result is going to be really awesome so stay tuned for that. So the Quasar Saber itself is the main weapon that the Power Rangers in Power Rangers Lost Galaxy use and as a kid um, it's just one of those shows that I really remember fondly and it's one of those props that I always wanted from the show and now I'm making a metal bladed quasar saber how awesome <laughs> such a dream item to have and I'm super excited to get this done this video is not exactly a how-to but it's more of a how I've done it <laughs> at least gives you maybe some inspiration to go and make something yourself. It doesn't have to be a Quasar Saber from Lost Galaxy, but maybe this video will inspire you to go and make something yourself. As you can see I'm doing some more detailed work, shaping up the actual blade a little bit more, getting all of the edges refined, and, and now I'm moving over to using a file, just hand filing to get even closer and get a little bit more detail work done. Something that takes a little bit of time but is actually very therapeutic. It takes a while, don't get me wrong. So next we're going to be grinding away a hell of a lot to actually take off to shape the blade itself. In the end you'll see that I got a really good shape but it does take a lot of time to grind it out and you know to refine the edges but you know you just have to have patience and stick with it because as you will see in the end in my opinion this is gonna come out really nice as you can see it's looking a bit rough right now but in the end I'm sure you'll be happy with the result just taking off some more of the extra material at every stage just making sure that everything is nice and smoothed out as much as I can and then going back over to my belt sander, taking off all of the other excess metal and really getting it down to a smooth shape. Okay, so we're going to put that to the side for the moment and we're going to start working on the actual handguard itself. Or the quillions, I believe they're known in sword terms. So these are going to be made out of wood, as you can see. Also, these pieces they're going to be made out of multiple like different pieces stacked together and then glued so as you can see I'm going to start making these pieces so it's made up of three pieces you've got the inner core of each of the sides and then you have two other pieces that are sandwiched together here I'm creating loads of grooves with a knife to give something for these wood glue pieces to grip together to make a beautiful wooden sandwich <laughs> in the shape of these handguard pieces. Here I'm using loads of wood glue and clamping everything together. And there we go, these are the final pieces, as you can see, made up of three pieces of wood and they will be shaped later. And yeah, as you can see, looking pretty cool. The next stage is to start making the handle itself. As you can see, I'm using this piece of MDF that I have spare. 
so I've marked that out and I'm cutting it to shape now. There we go, just test fitting to see how it will look. And now I'm just quickly marking up how I need to drill the holes for the actual blade itself to slot into this handle. There we go, looking pretty cool. Trying to be as careful as I can to not actually break the handle. And now we're just making some more detailed pieces that go on top of the Quasar Sabre itself. So as you can see, trying to cut as close as I can just to save a little bit of cleaning up later. Cutting off some more parts of this wooden rod. And yeah, these will come in handy later. These are going to be some extra detail pieces that I'm just quickly cutting up now to get ready for later on. Just to save a little bit of time later whilst I'm here, I'm cutting up some extra pieces of spare MDF that I've got. I'm starting to use this hole saw bit to actually get some pieces of round wood. These are going to be some extra detail pieces that will go on the handle later on. So I'm just getting that out of the way. And now we're starting to cut into these handguard pieces. Actually cutting all these lines into this. It takes a long period of time to actually get these looking nice. But the end result I'm pretty happy with so far. Here we go, we're making more of the blade now. <laughs> kind of just using a little bit of an old school method of getting these drilled out. And doing a bit of detailed filing. There we go, we've cut a slot out so that this will nicely fit up to the rest of this wooden handle. Now we're going to lock it into place with a screw, so I'm just drilling the hole for that. And now we're going to use this tap and die set to actually tap the screw into this piece of metal, as you can see, so nice and secure. So finally we're drilling a hole for the pommel to sit into, so here we go, we've made the pommel out of some different sections of wood, nice and secure. Doing a little bit more smoothing of the edges of all of these pieces now and just kind of refining everything. Looking pretty cool. As you can see, passing over the blade, we've got a bit more detail work done, so looking awesome using these little needle files. But I'm not too worried about making it perfect in terms of scratches and stuff like that because as you'll see later on I'm going to be doing some really detailed weathering work so that's going to be pretty awesome I think that's going to look really nice and as you can see next I'm making a mold and I'm casting a custom piece right here this is going to be the head of the lion for the Red Ranger now I'm kind of just working out how I want to have my design of the kind of engravings that go into the blade I'm not going for exactly the design that's on the original design. I'm kind of going for an inspired look. Let's just put it that way. And now we're just acid etching using some ferric chloride to etch into the actual aluminum itself. And now the final step is just spray painting everything and making it all shiny and gold. Doing a bit more detailed masking off and removing this as you can see. We have these awesome lines, very close to the original, but not exact. But I really do like how these came out, very clean. And now we're just clamping on these pieces. And there we go, the Lost Galaxy Quasar Saber. Go Galactic! My own custom version. Power Rangers Lost Galaxy Quasar Saber. This is something that was custom made all by me, mostly made from metal and wood. This is something that I have wanted for so long, and finally, here it is. Power Rangers Lost Galaxy Quasar Saber. So if you did like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and stay tuned for plenty more Power Ranger unboxings, reviews, and so much more is on the way. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one. And remember, I now have a Patreon page, so you can help support the channel in a more direct way, allowing me to continue to create even more content. 
I also have both Instagram and Facebook groups. All the links will be in the description below. May the power protect you.